Well, at the moment we're in, in dense scrub down below the foot track to the viewing point for the falls we're heading towards the old cow center plant there's there's metal work there's an old pipe there and around behind me is other pipes all heading down the hill uh, we don't know how far we are away from the calcina plant but we're we're continuing I'm down to a position where I can see that and this must be part of the old calcina works and there's still dense scrub all around it I don't think I'll be going any further today it's it's just dense down through there it's now five o'clock so I think very sadly I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go back but I'm very pleased to be here I've just arrived at the north furnace and I've had to cut my way almost all the way down and down here I've had to cut all the um, undergrowth away to see anything but at least we're here uh, I'm looking along the top of it now looking along to the west and just through there you may be able to see the chimney which I saw last time and it sure looks like it's going to fall down any time <laughs> oh dear there you go and just another view and the base of the chimney is there and it's hard to see but there it is oh dear I was hoping to stand on the top of this furnace and look along uh, the best I can do is that I spent some time doing some clearing but um, very hard to get a full photograph of it You'll probably see each of these big gear wheels is one of the rebels that goes down and would stir the ore as it came through the furnace uh, big gear wheel here mm. very close and um, you can see down into the furnace there a couple of places where the shaft go down through there just come down off the furnace and cleared away to see the northernmost firebox get a closer look I've just been cutting my way around the place and I've come to the, the southern end of the furnace there's the waste flue heading off up the hill and from here this used to be a, a brick building where the uh, fumes were collected and just through there will be the southern furnace and we've got to wait for a while I'm going to wait for Ian to come and then we'll go down and explore that one lots of bricks falling down there's a firebox door but that's that would be the base of the uh, three foot diameter chimney <laughs> believe it or not laying on the ground and going up the hill and in the process it gains 85 feet of vertical height which uh, gives it enough draft for the furnace I just cleared a bit more scrub and we can now look inside the north furnace and you can see a row of rebels there's one here and you can see the uh, the rotating device here all driven by those gears up there and they're all in various stages of decay and I certainly would have loved to have seen this thing operating the gears turning at one and a half revs per minute I've just cut my way along towards the the southern furnace which was the original one built in 1921 
Uh, this one, by the way, was built about 1926. This is the north one. Now we're just trying to proceed along to the southern one. It's really, really bad state of decay. A lot of it's fallen over. But um, I just have to turn the camera off in a moment because I'm going up through there and uh, not, not all you see is blackberries a lot of it is um, steel rods in the bush so I'm going to cut the camera off now and climb up through okay I'll just come up through there across a big water pipe I'm actually on the structure now of the old original furnace walking along the edge of it for a moment my hands trembling and it's no wonder and now just going to go down and climb through underneath that and get up to the other side of it okay with a shaky hand I'm now right inside the old original furnace and going through Okay, I've just come through there and notice something down here. It's very interesting. How did that get there? Just walking on the top side now, back up towards the the north furnace and um, some of the machinery on on the. Uh, the south furnace I'll just cut my way further along here. And uh, get some idea of the length. I was hoping to get good photography right the way along here. And right here <laughs> is a massive boulder that must have rolled down the hill. Ended up on the furnace. I'm just having a short break now before um, I head back up the hill and uh, help Anne get down here. I'll take my bag back to the north furnace and leave it there. Now I've just got the call that Anne's about to start down the track. I'm waiting near where the old pipe has been supported in a uh, a brick arrangement from what I can read it's there to stop the pipe sliding down the hill <gasps> reunions in the bush are always something special <laughs> this, this, is, this is a sound of effect of a hug in the bush oh, hello the bush. <laughs> morning hug good to see you good to see you you too uh, great it's been a hard day <laughs> Has it been finding exciting things? Oh yes. Oh yeah. I'm just oh, gonna... it's really been right up. Uh, you need to yeah. grab so this those. Is actually a piece of yeah, you've it? got to get across there. So you've got to grab that fern on the right. Because there aren't too many footholds. <laughs> okay, just here. Oh I see. Yeah. What's with this wall here, do you think? I have no idea, Tony, you've got to look up the maps and that. Oh, 
and I've had lots of I've had lots of rest today. Well, you just arrived at the North Furnace oh. at Godkin. That's the end of it there. Head down through there. Just head down through there. It's the it's the north end of the The, the Edwards furnace, and you can see the machinery along the top. Just keep going, Tom. And uh, this is the, the very end, and uh, continue on that direction. We are here. So this is the northern furnace. Yes. I'll just say that again. No, okay. Uh, yeah, this machinery runs along the top there, and there's one of the fire boxes there. Yes. I want to hear what you say in a moment, Ian. This is fascinating. Do you see how it's lined with the bricks? Just got men hmm. on the outside. Ooh, rebels. Look at more. See that? Oh my goodness. Hey, look. Hey, okay, guess what? Over here. There's a chimney. This is it. This is it. Flowers. Wow, look at this. Man, oh man. Look at this. It's pretty huge, wasn't it? What are we looking for, everybody? Yep. Wow, that's awesome. That's interesting, isn't it? Good to know. Come past if you want to. Um, yeah, we're just behind the, um, the South Furnace. And, this thing had 27 of those rotating devices to stir the ore. Yeah, all driven by a motor. Um, I would have loved to have seen it in operation. Wouldn't it have been amazing to yeah. see that in operation? Yeah. I mean, the sun's come out day. at the cow center. Jimmy's up there. We should go up and look. Yep, we'll go up there in a moment. Loving this. Good. I reckon we'll go up the top near those big wheels and have lunch or something up there and yes. get some video. We've got to get some video views. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. We'll Please. get we'll, we'll my tripod. Smile. Well, we'll get some um, video of Winston now, he's been behind the camera. Well, for what it's worth, we're all standing on the old furnace, <laughs> and right beside Tony is that great chimney. And don't lean on it, Tony, because it'll probably come down. <laughs> it's absolutely rusted through. So there we go. The sun's finally come out. Any comments, Anne? I'm just so pleased that we actually found it. Good. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. Really mind bubble. Good. Yeah. Yeah. How much higher do you think that would have been? So that's yeah. about two and a half times your height zone, isn't it? Yeah. So it would have been about. I don't, don't know. The oldest photos, it's only about that high. Oh, but, I think it's but I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Just cut this down a bit now. Rather crowded up here, but we're right in near those big gear wheels, yes. which really fascinate me. Do you want me to hold that wee cut down? 
cute. Tony is making our little home a little bit better. <laughs> yes. Just don't bump the chimney. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh that's got it. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. I've got it. Ah, oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Kimmy. I'm trying. Let off down over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Good on you. Just having a very enjoyable lunch. Okay, we've just had a lovely lunch. Anne's going to show us the map. Well, today we have having a fantastic time. What we've done, we've come down here and we've sort of followed a track there. And then we've come right through here to the furnaces. And check, this was just incredible. And we found the um, old chimney stack there, which is not as high as what I thought it would be, actually. Now the roof's gone, but there's yep. all these concrete things there. We've seen that, which is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be, and including this, and the amount of bricks, just amazing. So. Down from the southern furnace, down to where Glozy's concentrating plant was, and uh, the girls are down there, Tony's cutting his way around. Yeah. Well, we're just down in the Glozier's concentrating plant, and I've just made a personally a remarkable discovery. Awesome. Because I'm really sure that this is a Wilfley table. We've got we've got a belt drive. The, the table is mounted on funny little springs and it's designed to shake. Motor driven shaking table and they shovel the ore on it and uh, a row of tin would line up on one side. Oh, oh. still intact. Gee, I'm just so pleased to see that. Uh, this is mytho mythological to me because I read about it. It's got the belt on it. But now I act I'm sure I'm seeing one. Dry, you've got an adjuster. In behind here is a whole lot of um, framework that's fallen down. I just hope the rest doesn't fall down. And, and it's right up there, above there on another level, is the, uh, the southern furnace. Well, we've had a lovely hour down at uh, Glozy's Mill. And now we're just heading our way back up, up to the furnaces. It's quite a steep section just up here. It's been absolutely fantastic day. And the girls are leading the way, like troopers. What's <laughs> that? Um, it could be too. It could be too. But uh, at least we know that's reasonably good up that way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.